future. Well, thank you. I just want to introduce to you all this man of God Amen. that I met when I started at um, Head Start in Dodsworth, Tennessee, as a family advocate. He is a teacher at uh, the Dodsburg Head Start Center, Amen. but he was one of the first people that I met. Amen. Amen. Very funny young man. Very, very. <laughs> but he is a man of God that Amen. is willing to speak. For the Lord, amen. amen. I love his spirit. I love every, you know, just the spirit about him. He's a very cheerful young man, amen. amen. And therefore, I know that the joy of the Lord is inside of him, and, and greater that is in him than is in the world. So I'm gonna let him introduce himself. But I just love this young man, and we just had a connection ever since we met each other, and we can laugh together and we can cry together, amen. And I just thank God for him that he's accepted this invitation to speak to us. Today, Amen. 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 Father God, we're coming to you as humble as we know how, God. Yes. God, realizing, God, we can't do nothing without you, God. That's right. God, come on in the room, God. Yeah. Come on in the room, God. God, we need you, God. God, we need you, God. And we can't make it alone without you, God. Thank you, Jesus, for being a protector, God. Thank you, Jesus, for being our all in all, God. Thank you, Jesus, for being everything we need, God. And some, God. Lord, we give you the praise, God. Lord, we give you the praise, God. Lord, it's not about me, God. But it's all about you, God. Thank you, Jesus. This is my prayer in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. God is so good, y'all. Yes, he is. God is so good. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Um, before we get started, can we, can we turn to uh, Luke verse uh, chapter 19? Luke verses 19. Amen. Amen. Verses 1 through 10. Amen. Luke chapter 19, verses 1 through 10. Amen. Yes, yes. I thank God for Pastor Hennon and First Lady Hennon on today. Amen. 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 And I thank God for Serve his heart. Amen. Yeah. God bless you all. Amen. God is so good. And I thank God for my fiance. Amen. On today. Amen. God is good. The Bible says, patiently wait on the Lord. Amen. That's what I did. And we will be getting married on January the 17th. Amen. So God is good. Amen. He's worthy. Yeah. Amen. 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 Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Uh, this is my good thing. Amen. All right, go ahead. Amen. Amen. If you have it, can y'all please say amen. 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 And can we read it together? Verses 1. And Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, which was the chief among the publicans, and he was rich. And he sought to see Jesus, who he was, and could not for the press, because he was little of stature. And he ran before and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down. Somebody said, come down. For today, say today. Not tomorrow. Right. Today, Today, I must abide at thy house. Yeah. And he made haste and came down uh -huh. and received him what? Joyfully. Right. And when they saw it, they all murmured, mm -hmm. saying that he was going to be guest with a man that is a sinner. Uh -huh. Them gossiping people. Uh -huh. 
And Zacchaeus stood and said unto the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I have given to the poor. And if I have taken anything from any man or false accusations, I will restore him, what, fourfold. And Jesus said unto him, This day, not tomorrow, this day, is what? Salvation. Come to this house. You know, God make house calls, y'all. For as much as he is also is a son of Abraham. Right. For the son of man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I, try to, I try to get a Christmas theme. <laughs> and the theme is, can y'all repeat after me? There was a Grinch in the house. house. <laughs> y'all catch it later on. There was a Grinch in the house. In the house. I might be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. There was a Grinch in the house. Yeah. Today, my brothers and sisters, we talk about a man named what? Zacchaeus. Yeah. This man was a tax collector. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, he was the most hated man in the city. Amen. Amen. Zacchaeus is described as a chief tax collector and he is what? Rich. Amen. Uh -huh. And if you look at his profession, very closely, he was something like the RS. Mm -hmm. And let's be truthful, uh, some of us don't like the RS, amen? amen? So not only was he a wealthy man, not only was he a rich man, not only he was a man of high stature, but he was hated yeah. uh -huh. by most of the people, amen? amen? It's okay when somebody does not like you, uh -huh. but it's kind of rough when everybody don't like you. It's kind of rough. Yeah, yeah. Somebody say, examine yourself. Examine yourself. Yeah. It got so bad that he was an outcast uh, to his own people. Amen? Uh -huh. This chief collector had no standing in society. He was in cahoots with the Roman Empire. Amen? All right. He prayed on his own people. Uh -huh. He looked down upon, upon him and was despised by all. Uh -huh. <clears throat> he had a little power to throw around. Have you ever seen someone who act different when they get a little power? Uh -huh. I have. Uh -huh. <laughs> they get a little promotion, they act funny. Uh -huh. yeah. they, they stare their nose at you. Uh -huh. They act funny towards you. They barely speak to you. Uh -huh. yeah. Why is it that people forget where they come from, amen? Yeah. You cannot be too highly and too high mighty in the body of Christ, amen? Yeah. And that is how these people felt about Zacchaeus. He was also part of a Roman's biggest pyramid scheme, amen? Uh -huh. Taking folks some money. And the sad thing, y'all, he enjoyed it. Yeah. When you start loving your sin, uh -huh. this is where the, the big problem come in. Uh -huh. You could not get so involved in your sin that you start to like it. All right. The Bible says, repent and what? Turn right. from your wicked ways. Right. The Bible don't say repent, keep on doing the same thing. Yeah. The Bible says repent. And turn from your wicked ways. Yeah. Amen. Somebody say repent. repent. Yeah. And to be honest, Rome did not care how much you made. Yeah. As long as they got that cut. Amen. Yeah. They were okay. Uh -huh. There are some people like that today. Uh -huh. Some Grinches. <laughs> they do not care about nobody else but what? Themselves. Uh -huh. They're selfish. Uh -huh. Hello? Uh -huh. They're mean. Uh -huh. They're nasty. Uh -huh. Nasty uh -huh. attitude. Never helping nobody, yeah. but always got a hand out, amen? Yeah. Somebody say, there's a Grinch in the house. In the house. Yes, I felt that one. <laughs> Rumors have been surfacing around town uh -huh. that this man named Jesus was coming through Jericho. Right. Yeah. And Zacchaeus had heard that Jesus was coming his way. Right. And he did not want to miss this grand opportunity, amen? Right. He hears that Jesus who had a reputation for being friendly with tax collectors, prostitutes, yeah. drug addicts. Yeah. There's people in general who was looked down on was coming to town, amen? All right. So it wasn't Santa Claus was coming, it was who? <laughs> Jesus was coming. Yeah. He wants to see him, so he started shutting down his tax business, amen? Yeah. Early. Yeah. He wants to see him, so he started shutting down early. That day, he made sure that he would be out of the streets when Jesus came out. Uh, yeah. 
He did not want to miss him. Yeah. Now he heard about Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. But there's a difference, y'all. Listen, y'all. Wow. There's a difference when you know Jesus for yourself. Right. Yeah. Hello, somebody. Amen. We got some Zacchaeus right now in the church. Amen. We come to church Sunday after Sunday. But some of us has different motives. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Some of you are not interested in hearing the gospel, but you got hidden agendas. Uh, There's a Grinch in the house. Who worrying? We worry about who wearing the, the new Jordans? Uh, who got a new girlfriend this Sunday? Uh, who did not pay their tithes this Sunday? Uh, we got all these motives. But let us learn how to get our mind on what? Jesus, amen? Someone say, get your mind on Jesus. I believe any motive is a good motive if you're trying to get close to Jesus. What is your motive today? What did you show up this morning for? Did you come to gossip? Did you come to lie? Talk about folks? Talk about the pastor? You smile to the pastor's face and then talk about him? Huh? Did you come to hear the choir sing? Did you come because you were forced to? Some of us was forced to come. Amen. Oh, did you come out of tradition? Amen. Oh, did you come to get delivered? Did you come because you want a new heart? Because y'all know about the Grinch, right? He had a nasty heart. But guess what? God changed his heart, amen. Did you come for a new mind? Did you come because you needed a touch from the master? Right. What is your motive oh on today? So, yeah. so, 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 Zacchaeus was on a mission how to see Jesus. Amen? All right. He wants to see the man he been hearing so much about. Yeah. Right. And to be honest, y'all, when you're the chief collector, you know everybody's business. Amen? Yeah. Yeah. But ain't it strange he did not hear about Jesus? <laughs> it's kind of funny that people can know your business. Know all your business yeah. from left to right. Yeah. But as soon as you knock on their door, yeah. they're on hush mode. Yeah. There are some gritches in the house, y'all. Right. Yeah. We need to learn how to stop throwing stones at each other. Yeah. And learn how to, what, examine our own household. Amen. Right. Amen. We will let us, so let's, jump, let's not jump to conclusion. Some of us heard about him, uh -huh. but have we tried him? Ah. Hmm? Yeah. Have we had an encounter with him? Yeah. Have we given him a chance? Have we given him our hearts? Oh, yeah. It's okay to know the man, but the relationship is much better, y'all. Right. So he shuts down his operation, and now he is walking up the road and running ahead of the crowd because he is what? Short. Uh -huh. The man is short. Right. Yes. Yes. He's a tax collector. But he saw it. He saw the statue, y'all. To be short in statue is not a, about his actual physical height. It's really about his spiritual condition. Yeah. Yeah. Being short in statue is facing our life, yeah. not running from it. Amen. Right. Like he is, he refuses to be lost in the crowd. He refuses to hide. He refuses to run away from who he is. Instead, he runs ahead of the crowd and climbs a tree. Uh -huh. Everyone, everyone could see what he was doing. Uh -huh. He's short. Yeah. Uh -huh. Luke says he did not that so he could see Jesus, but he climbed the tree because he wanted to be seen uh -huh. by Jesus. It's a difference that we want to see Jesus, but it's better for God to see us. Amen. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What if? That was how he faced the truth and reality of his own life. What if Zacchaeus was offering all that he had? That he was too short, amen? What if that was him crying out, Lord, here I am. Yeah. This is my life. Look at me. Yeah. Claim and recognize me. Lord, I'm broken. Yeah. I'm hurt. Fix me, Lord. Clean me up inside. Yeah. Change my thoughts. Yeah. This is what I want when I am short in stature. I want to see Jesus, but more of that, I want to be seen yeah. by Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Even when I do not like 
Okay, okay, not accept, but I see in myself. I want to know that Jesus sees more in me than I can see in myself. I want God to recognize me, man. I want to be reminded that I am more than what I have become. I want to know that despite what has become in my life, I'm still a child of God. I want Jesus to call me out of my tree and into a new life. And he wants to get ahead so he can get a good seat, amen? Right. Amen. 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 So he can see the parade coming down the town. Oh, yeah. He has a good motive. Uh -huh. He is going to see a man named who? Jesus. Yeah. And his mind, he is saying, I got, I got to get ahead. I got to get ahead right. of the crowd. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> because the crowd can keep you from seeing Jesus. Yeah. Hello. How many know that all crowds ain't good crowds? Y'all yeah. too quiet for me. Right, come on, come on. Think y'all still sleeping. All, right, come on. all crowds ain't too good crowds, amen? Yeah. All, right, all crowds are not good crowds. Amen. Some crowds can keep you from seeing Jesus, y'all. Right. Some crowds can make a fool of yourself, amen? Yeah. Some crowds do not want you to get your blessing, all amen? Right, right. The Bible says he was running in town, trying to get through the crowd and see this man named Jesus, yes, yes. he's moving fast. Yeah. He running with little, little legs, uh -huh. huh? Yeah. And he sees in that distance a sycamore fig tree. Yeah, yeah. Now this tree had long branches, yeah. so it was easy for him to maneuver. And plus, with his reputation, he can hide from the crowd. Right. Cause they like him anyway, yeah. Yeah. huh? Yeah. Sometimes y'all, we must learn how to face our giants. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And in his mind, this would give me a better view yes. or a better advantage. Right. Because he saw using scheming folks. All right. He uses he saw using taking people in advantage and, and stealing money from people. So really, this could be another trick on his sleeve, amen. Uh -huh. yeah. So he's running, trying to get to the tree. Uh -huh. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yeah. Just to get ahead and above everyone else right. so he could see this man named Jesus. All right. When you want to see Jesus, there is always going to be somebody that will criticize you. Y'all right. yeah. believe that? Right. There's going to be always somebody talking about you. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 Zacchaeus had to put his title down even when he was short in stature. Amen. Yeah. He, had to put his he had to put his title down. All right. Come on. He wanted to see Jesus for himself. Yeah. He did not want nobody else's opinion about Jesus. Yeah. Huh? Amen. He wanted his own encounter. Amen? Yeah. He wanted his own face-to-face -face encounter. Amen? Yeah. With this man named Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. See, it's good, with, like I said, it's good to have a relationship with him yeah. for yourself. Yeah. It's good when you can have Jesus and know Jesus for yourself. Amen? Yeah. Yeah. This man is risking the criticism. And the laughter of the people while he is holding on to the tree. Yeah. So can y'all imagine him just holding on to the tree? People looking at him, laughing at him. Right. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Can you just imagine? Uh -huh. The Bible says, okay, let's go to verse 5. Uh -huh. Verse 5. Again. Verse 5 says, And when Jesus came to the place, uh -huh. he looked up and saw him and said unto him, yes. Zacchaeus! Terrell, uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Right. Jim, Joe, yeah. make haste right. and come down. All right. For today, yeah. today, yeah. somebody said today, yeah. I must abide at thy house. All right. Jesus reached the spot. He looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, come down immediately. immediately. Somebody said immediately. immediately. Not tomorrow. All right. All right. right now. Right now. I must stay at your house today. Yeah. So what did Zacchaeus do? He came down, what, gladly. Amen? Amen. I'm glad I serve a God who can meet me where I'm at. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah right, there, right there, right there. I like that. Come on. Zacchaeus was at the point. He was at the right place at the right time. Amen? Yeah. Some of us need a healing, yeah. a breakthrough, yeah. a miracle, yeah. a financial blessing. Yeah. Guess what? You're at the right place. 
Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. you at the right place. Right. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. You're at the right spot. Zacchaeus was at the right spot, y'all. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. God will meet you where you are at. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Next time you are going through confusion, just say, I am at the right spot right. for a miracle. God is coming yeah. to your rescue, amen. Yeah. Some of you worrying about bills. Right. You came to the right spot. Yeah. Hallelujah. Stop stressing. Yeah. You came to the right spot. Yeah. I feel my help. Yeah. Preach the realm. God will meet you where you at. But we must be in position yeah. for the blessing. Hallelujah. I love a God who can meet me in my mess. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who won't serve a God like that? Amen. Who will meet you in your mess? Hallelujah. Who won't serve a God like that? Yeah. Who can meet you in your mess? Yeah. Even when you're going through, yeah. He will meet you in your mess. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. But we got to open our hearts up, y'all. Yeah. We got to open our hearts up. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Just like the Grinch. What happened? Yeah. The hoos came in and, and, and took him and came and got him, right? Yeah. He opened his heart back up. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Jesus gets to his spot and he says, The kids yeah. come down from the tree. Yeah. So somebody say, Come down. Yeah. Come down. Yeah. Now, Pastor, listen this, listen this, Pastor. And I shot that when I read this. Alright. So keep in mind, y'all. Zacchaeus was up in the tree, right? right. But the roles was going to be reversed sooner or later. Yeah. Jesus and his reverse, his, his roles going to be reversed. Y'all yeah. listen to this. Zacchaeus comes down a tree yeah. while Jesus go up a tree. Amen? Right. For the sins of the world. Yeah. Yeah. Zacchaeus climbs a tree right. to receive salvation. Yeah. And Jesus go on a tree to give salvation. Yeah. Tell God, thank you for the tree. Yeah. And Jesus says this, Zacchaeus, come down. Yeah. Come down from your worry. Come down from your frustration. Yeah. Come down from your anxiety. Yeah. Come down from your lack of faith. Yeah. I know you're trying to believe, yeah. but you need to come down. So somebody say, come down. Yeah. And see for yourself. Yeah. I am that I am. I am the one who called the cornerstone. I am the bread of life. I am the mediator. I am the light of the world. I am the light of, of the tribe of Judah. I am everything you need. Come down. Somebody say, come down. And come to me. When you're going through, you better come down. Nobody got time for no pity party. You better come down. Everybody getting sick and stuff from coronavirus and we playing. Too much stuff going on, y'all. We... Come down. Yeah. But look at this, though. Now everybody is all excited when you come down. Yeah. You know why? Because yeah. the Bible says it. Uh -huh. Let me see where it's at. Because it is it, here. Oh, let me find it. Let me find it. <laughs> it is in here. <laughs> Verse 7. And when they saw it, guess what they did? Yeah. They all mumbled. Yeah. Everybody not gonna be happy when God bless you, y'all. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I told y'all it's in there. Yeah. I had to find it. Yeah. <laughs> all the people, everybody, yeah. saw this and they began yeah. to mutter. Yeah. He has gone to be the guest of a sinner. Yeah. Yeah. You would think yeah. that one. That they'll be happy for them oh, yeah. when somebody receive joy and peace. Right. When you're trying to receive something from God, everybody is not going to be on the same page. Right. The Bible says, I must come to your house. Yeah. And how many know Jesus wants to come to your house? Yeah. In fact, you want to let him in your house. Amen? Yeah. These people muttered because they were not happy for him. Yeah. They complained. Yeah. There he is. They're all tax collectors. Oh, yeah. They're all sinner. Yeah. They're all liar. Yeah. They're all fornicator. Yeah. They're all thief. Yeah. They're all, they're all men. Yeah. 
People love to bring up your old dirt. Huh? So you get saved. You love to bring up your old dirt. I might need that call this mic. You don't mind. I feel my help now. People love to bring up your old dirt. Amen. Amen. People love to bring up the old dirt. Yeah, that's right. Let us be honest. The, the reason why we do not see Jesus in our homes because we act like we don't even need them. All right. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Do not call Jesus unless you in trouble. Right. When you just think, come on now. Yeah. When you just think of how good God is. Yeah, yeah. This is enough, y'all. This is number say Jesus. Yeah. Say, somebody say Jesus. Call him. Yeah. The Bible says, I come for the sinner yeah. and not for the righteous. Amen. Yeah. So if you feel like you got it all together, don't call this man. Yeah. Right, well, if you know, no. somebody say, if you know, yeah. you can't make it without him. Yeah. Yeah. Call this name. Oh. Say Jesus. Jesus. It's the only name. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus make a pop up Jesus, amen. Yeah. But you gotta let him in. Right. You gotta invite him in your heart. All right. When your heart is wounded, yes, sir. you're stressful. Yeah. I need you, I need you. in my home. Yeah. Lord, I need you yeah. on the job. Right. Lord, I need you, need you in my heart. Yeah. Lord, I need you, I need you. Yes, sir. every hour, yeah. every second, yeah. every minute. Yeah. And when they get to the house of Jesus, I mean, they get to Zacchaeus' house. First thing he does is just pour his house, his house out. He says, I also want some money and all this other good stuff. God says, I want to go home with you. And how do you know this thing is straightened up? When you get Jesus home, Jesus did not tell Zacchaeus anything. Zacchaeus starts confessing to Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. It's something about when you get in the presence of God. Right. Yeah. The things will change. Yeah. Yeah. When we stand before God yeah. and when we as a commune with Him, yeah. uh, everything starts coming out. Yeah. And we finally see how short we really is. All right. Amen? Yeah. We see how wrong we are. Yeah. And our shortcomings, Woo. and we start emptying our hearts to Him and telling Him, Lord, and I'm, I am not this. Yeah. And I'm not that. Yeah. And he tells us, I know you're not. Yeah. This is why I sent my son. Yeah. Name Jesus. Yeah. He's the way maker. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Stop being a grinch. Yeah. And let Jesus come to your heart. Yeah. In your life. Yeah. You might have to cry some tears. Yeah. You might have to be alone yeah. sometimes. You might have to focus on yourself. But let God work on you. Yeah. Let God pray that a clean heart and let him renew the right spirit in you. Let him take full course in your life. How many know God is able? Huh? How many know God is able? God is just waiting on us so he can change our hearts. And mind. I'm so glad, God, that you waited on me. Somebody said, I'm glad that you waited on me. So glad that you picked me up and you turned me around. So glad you put a new song in my heart. So glad you gave me joy. So glad you gave me peace. When I was lonely, you were there. When I was stressed, God, you were there. When I was hurt, guess what? He was there. Hallelujah. I'm not bitter no more. I'm not mad no more. I'm not suffering no more. Since I met Jesus. Somebody say Jesus. Since I met Jesus. I took the man home with me. Hallelujah. He's been on my side ever since. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, thank you for being a keeper. Lord, thank you for being a keeper. Through my frustrated hour, through my confusion, ever since you stepped into my life, my whole life has changed. So I say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He died on Friday night. But early, so I say, Hallelujah! I heard you leave me at the point of my knee. I turned down 
God. Come on, dad, in my heart, God. Lead in my heart, God. Right now, God. In the name of Jesus. Come on, Jesus. Hallelujah. He said, I've been hanging in this tree. This tree of hurt. I've been hanging on this tree of guilt. I've been hanging on this tree of pain and misery. Lord, ready to move forward. Somebody say, come on now. Come on now. Right now. Lord, I need you. I can't make it long without you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. He's a holy God. He's a righteous God. Hallelujah. Tell God thank you. Tell God thank you. Tell God thank you. Hallelujah. God wants to be a Christian more. He wants to change, amen? Yeah. He wants to come down the tree yeah. and receive him. Somebody said, receive him. He's all the one. Yeah. He's all the one. Yeah. How many of God is all the one? Yeah. He's all the one. Yeah. He changed my life. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. He was talking about me. Yeah. But I came down the tree, y'all. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Right now, people talk about me and my fiance. Uh -huh. But guess what? We came down a tree. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. What did the battle say? Yeah. I found somebody. Yeah. My good thing. Amen. Yeah. But I guess what I did. Yeah. I won't worry about nobody else. Yeah. And I did. I made this short of stature. Worry yeah. about folks. Yeah. But sometimes y'all, we can't worry about people. Yeah. You know, do what God says. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what matters. Yeah. Hello? Come down a tree, y'all. Come down a tree. And stop being a Grinch. Stop being a Grinch. Someone said, stop being a Grinch. Stop being a Grinch. Just like the Grinch. His heart was changed. And guess what God can do to you? He can change your heart too. Hello? God can change you. If you want to be changed. Uh -huh. And this is the key, y'all. Yeah. If you want to be changed. And when God changes you. Man, and when God changes you. People should see a change to you. Yeah. And you know, people still going to talk about you. People still going to talk about you. They're going to laugh at you. Yeah. Say, oh, he's still a drunk. Yeah. He's still a wide head. Yeah. But guess what? Yeah. Jesus. Jesus. Huh? Jesus. It's the only person that matters, y'all. Yeah. It's Jesus. Yeah. Nobody got on head to head push you in. Amen? Yeah. But y'all, we gotta be for real about this thing, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. We gotta be for real about this thing. Yeah. Yeah. We gotta be for real about this thing, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said earlier, people down left and right, y'all. Yeah. Especially Diesburg, oh my God. I mean, his friend was like, every week. We don't know. We're not last day. God wants to be ready, y'all. God wants to be ready. So with that being said, come down from the tree. Stop hiding from people. Young people, stop hiding. Stop hiding. Stop being the Grinch. Amen? All right. Stop being mean. Yeah. Cussing. Yeah. Smoking. Uh -huh. Fighting. Right. Y'all want to see a change in us. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. And they starts right here, y'all. God bless y'all.